In a Francis turbine, the pressure gauge leading to the turbine casing reads 380 kPa. So let's write that down, 380 kPa. The velocity of water entering the turbine is 8 meters per second. 8 meters per second. If the net head of the turbine is 45 meters, so that is our TDH. Find the distance from the center of the spir spiral casing to the tail race. So it sounds like we're trying to find our Z, which is the distance from the center of the spiral casing to the tail race, so in meters. So let's draw that. Here is our water. This is the dam. This is the penstock. This is where the generator and turbine are. This is the turbine. And the generator is over here, but we're not concerned with that. And then this leads outwards into the tail race. This is the water level, also known as the ta tail race. So distance from the center of the spiral casing to the tail race. This is our spiral casing. So this is the distance we are trying to look for. So center of the spiral casing to the tail race. So that is our Z. So our first clue is that it looks like TDH is equal to the pressure head plus the velocity head plus uh, the static head plus our friction head. But it says nothing about the friction, so let's just assume this is zero. The pressure head is equal to P over gamma, which is the weight density. The velocity head is V squared over 2G. And a static head is simply Z in this case. So we are given our total dynamic head. We have a pressure. We have the velocity. Trying to find Z. Gamma is simply 9.81, and G is also simply 9.81. Acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So we put our values in. Okay. So these units, they cancel out to meter. These units also cancel out to meter, so we will get a value of meter for our z as well. So let's put that in our calculator. And there we go, we get a z of exactly three meters. And that is our final answer.